It looks real nice on me. Oh. I like that. It's you. For now, it's me. <laughs> now it's him. <laughs> oh, this is 10 carat. And then this is 14 here. Oh, that's not good. Last time on Locker Nuts, with the Pirate Games well underway, Jack goes through the treasures he scored at the vault auction, with lots of great items found, but nothing compared to the gold hoard that was found inside of a hat box. Now it's time to start selling. Alright, Monday morning. Just a little bit after four o'clock in the morning. Start my day out. I'm gonna start every flea market day out, which is getting some gas, get a full tank of gas. And uh, first day of selling for the pirate game, so uh, pretty exciting. It is really exciting. Oh, I'm looking forward to what the day brings, but nevertheless, I'm tired. All right, so first thing in the morning, it's dark. You can see it's really dark. I'll go over to Alex's booth and start looking through his stuff. He had a ton of stuff that day. And um, well, I was hoping it would be a lot more interesting than what I brought. But uh, poking around in there. Yeah, it just seemed like pretty much the regular old household type of stuff. There's an ice cream maker. I've got like three of them at home now. This is what other guys do to us. Like every single morning they look through our stuff in the dark. Hoping to find the stuff that we missed pulling out. And uh, sometimes they do. The better we get, the more often they don't. I don't even really know what I'm looking for here. I just uh, felt like poking around that morning. Here's some really nice, interesting cups that he had. So I get out my jewelry box, and Alex wants to come over and take a peek. And right away, he grabs that ring. I really like this one right here. I like that one. All right, we've been here about an hour, starting to set up. My mom matching the discs with the cases like we saw last night. We got Alex over here. Setting up his load. And over here we got Mike setting up his load. These guys got a lot of stuff and I have a very small load today. Here's Manuel. We got all the gang here today. There's Manuel and there's George on the truck. It's gonna be a fun day. This is kind of interesting because I just pulled this rug out and this thing is like attached to it. Little chain. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm gonna do two bucks each. Hmm. Alright, I just want to flash back to that last video that I did the show when I pulled that rug out of the box. I didn't see anything, and um, even when I went and replay, I like looking at it, I don't see anything until right here. Watch, I'm gonna slow it down for you. When I swing that rug, look right below it. See that right there? It looks like a little bit of a something hanging down there. Um, let me go back and do it one more time. What do you think? Is that the chain hanging down there and one of the pieces? I guess we'll never know. I guess uh, they got better stuff than me because there's Alex's booth. There's Mike's booth. Here's my booth. All right, get ready. Here's what you all have been waiting for. All right, so here's what we got. This was, surprisingly, that is white gold. And <laughs> this is 18 carat right here. I wasn't sure about that. And that's 18. This is all 14? This is all 10 carat. Oh, this is 10 carat. And then this is 14 here. And even this thing right here, which is not jade, has gold 
It is Jade. It is oh, Jade. Oh, that is Jade. Yeah, oh, good. That oh. Jade. oh. No, I, see I thought I did the test and so with that, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. And then um, these little guys right here, silver. And those, nothing. So then here's what we got 18K for that guy there. We got 216. And then 10K, a couple hundred. 14. Nice big number. That's the gold and then with the little silver that's what we got and it doesn't include this piece here because Alex wants a chance to buy that if I want to sell it and then I also got this right here this little band right here actually maybe I should just sell you the band I gave up the band I was tempted to keep it but I gave that up because it added that much more to the total so that brings our grand total to 1070 and still got this guy right here I nearly forgot that gold chain that I had found in the rug had stuck it in my pocket, so I also got 30 bucks in addition for this little piece. Seven dice. See that? It does look good on you. It looks real nice on me. Oh, I like that. It's you. For now, it's me. For now, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Temporarily. I'm gonna keep it. I like that. I like I'm gonna keep it for a while. Just let me know when you're ready to sell it. All right. Check the check. See if you can find someone that can check the black diamonds. Alex called dibs on this. So check someone. Like do all your research. Do that that, and then just let me know a price. All right. It's cool. That's the first thing I saw. Because I thought that was blue. I thought it was uh, blue. You guys know more than I do because yeah, I didn't think nothing of it. Yeah, he said that the, the top gold is a good carrot. Pure. Yeah. And nuggets, and the right? The other one is tin. Ooh, that Someone was a good find. See you guys. <laughs> See ya. There they go. Mike's out of here. George taking over. Doing a big dollar sale over there. Looks like Alex got his dollar sale on. And I'm doing my best attempt to not sell anything today. Alright, things got kind of exciting today with all that jewelry, but I didn't even fill my booth. And then, you know what? It doesn't really make that big of a difference because I barely sold anything at all. So, I'm not sure what's going on over here. I'm remodeling, I guess, but these are all empty. Um, Sold some Christmas stuff this morning. Only had one person ask about these. Ten bucks. No one's asked about the rug. A little jewelry left. And have not sold these wheels. Got those. Sold a couple little things out of here. A few bucks. I don't remember what was here. Sold a few things here and there. I think I probably bought another five dollars in little homies. No movies. I did sell a few of those. Still got the camera. I sold quite a few of these belt buckles for four bucks each. So Pyrex balls. I, think I sold one army clothes none of those and i'm starting to pack up already but sold a few things off this table not a whole lot so, a lot of this stuff i'm gonna blow out brought it out too many times i'm gonna blow it out for a dollar not that all right there's the deal of the day going away dollar each four dollars for my rims and tires one dollar see that Got a free sale going on here. My frenzy. Everything's free here. All right, back from the flea market. Uh, I got to get the stuff in here. It's sprinkling. It's actually sprinkling right this very second. I'm getting to hurry. So um, that's all I got. <laughs> Not too bad. 
and some of those bins are empty. Um, I'll update you on just a second on how I did. All right, man, I am tired. Got home, had to package a couple eBay orders up, get to the post office. Of course, first unloaded the truck because it's raining. But anyways, here are the grand totals. So from the Pirate Games, I sold $1,100 in jewelry. Guess how much other stuff I sold? $41. <laughs> what a bunch of garbage. I sold actually probably 10 bucks. That was in this thing, comic books. Almost nothing else sold. Very disappointing, very disappointing. Uh, most of the stuff I gave away, even the dollar sale is a big fat failure. We gave away most of the stuff. I mean, almost everything went away at the free sale. Hey, <laughs> could have got on my video. What? I said you could have got on my video. Oh, hi! Say happy birthday to April. Tomorrow is her birthday. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so we got uh, the cost of the booth out of that. Now, if we had only brought that stuff, we would have spent 20 on the booth. But we brought a bunch of other stuff too. It's only fair to split it. Twelve fifty. All right, let's be fair. Twelve fifty for the booth. The gas is about thirty bucks. That's. I mean, every time I fill up, I, I'm, I'm liking my odds right now. I'm liking my odds. I am feeling good about this contest. I think I'm gonna win. And you know what that means? Mike and Alex are gonna have to help me unload next time. I don't want to get ahead of myself. The game's not over. Alex got lots of stuff to eBay. Mike uh, said that he's not feeling good about his odds, but you know what? You just never know. You never know. Although, if anyone knows, he does because he's the pro at this. But Alex uh, Alex got lots of eBay stuff, so we're going to have to see how Alex comes out. We know he's got a really sweet keyboard uh, that's worth big money. If he can sell it. So we'll see. <laughs> you know, it's only worth what someone's going to pay for it. So let's see how it pulls together. Um, I'm the one who got lucky, though, with the jewelry. Jewelry's an easy sale. Brought in big money. Alright, just about to have dinner at Mendocino Farms for April's birthday. It's April 1st, her birthday is tomorrow. There's still time to get her a gift. Anyone watching this? <laughs> what do you got to say, Camille? Hi. That's it? Glad to see you, Center. I'm not exactly sure what just happened. <laughs> it was like almost like a pawn water that deep and then it just started hissing and that just happened this is the new city center here in San Ramon not very far from my house I spent a ton of money building this place it's all very modern stores here are pretty cool they're not that many uh, like big chain it gives this place a very cool feel and it was designed by this very famous modern architect you see it it's a nice design Looks like this stopped. You can actually walk out. Okay, and it's gonna start right back up again. I don't get it. That was still time. perfect. Still okay. You're good. You're good, sweetie. You got it. Now. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Channel 44, you're watching Channel 44, the birthday yeah. channel. Oh, My diet is going excellent. Good morning, day after the flea market. Uh, yeah. Rain. With this rain, I can't even drag furniture out to the driveway to take photos. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm be enjoying that nice ring I got. I really do like this ring. Um. I love that Alex likes it too. <laughs> All right, rain has stopped. Time to pull this stuff out. If you can see, this is what I have to do. Get that stuff out. I've already listed that. And so I can get to the mid-century stuff and get that listed. So, mm, time for some work. All right, I got my gloves on. Restore, finish, rag. I'm gonna give these a little spit shine here. See if I can make them look even prettier, but they are in pretty good condition. Like my gloves aren't fitting very good today. I don't know why. Oh wait, that's right. Because that big old fat ring right there. <laughs> Show the difference this makes. Oh yeah. It doesn't take that out. Mike, I should probably use some goof up on that first. But yeah, look at the difference already. 
But here's a little scratch right here. Look at that. It makes it go away, it just blends right in now. It just looks like a, a little feature in the wood. That one's done. This one's not. And if you can see the difference, it's a little hard. Camera doesn't pick up really the full luster difference. And like I said, these were in really good shape before. I probably didn't need to do anything. But putting that restore finish on just gives it that little extra oomph. Really does make it shine. They're beautiful. I love them. Um, I'm going to price them, I think, at $4.25 for the pair. And $2.50 for one. And see what happens. Then we'll do these bed frames. They match, but I will sell them separate. And... Um, with those, again, I think I'm going to do like 200 for the pair or 150 each. All right, let's see how much change we got out of that locker. So that's going to go on in my totals, too. Dollar. 35. 43. All right, I'll take it. All right, now let's take a look at these golf clubs, see what we got. King Cobra 2, I don't think that's anything. Tri Touch Copper. A lot of titanium. See that right there? It's got a little copper. Wilson. I don't know. I'll check all the pockets in these golf bags because sometimes people take their rings off when they're swinging and uh, put them in the pocket, or at least that's what I do. But no such luck, but I did bring these to the flea market the next day and got a solid 10 bucks for them, nice and quick. I bought this, I thought it was leather, but I don't actually think it's leather. I think that's like a vinyl Atlantic. Jack Nicholas. This is McGregor right there. I don't know if these are worth anything. piece that I thought was the most interesting. I've never seen one of these actually. And this I think is for when your ball gets in the sand. You can reach up there and scoop it out. You don't have to walk in the sand, then you don't have to rake all the sand. I'm actually going to put that aside. I'm going to keep it. There's a one wood right here. This is McGregor. That feels actually really nice. These are some nice clubs. Jack Nicholas right there. For the putter, I've got this Northwestern Golf Company Model 1000. 24K gold plated. Gold plated putter. That's some Donald Trump stuff right here. Something else you take. Umbrella. Hey, that's actually a nice umbrella. Check the pockets again, but nothing good in there. But I did sell this eventually. You'll have to wait to the end to see how much I got for them. I listed them for 100 bucks locally and had a couple people interested. But eventually it did sell, and you'll see at the end. More golf balls. Oh, that's not good. That was not good. We picked up. Camera landed right on the, right on the, right on the lens. You know what's kind of funny about that? It's not that funny, but what's kind of funny is as soon as I open my GoPro app right now, right before I got the thing synced up, GoPro gave me an advertisement saying they give us a hundred dollars to trade in this old GoPro for a brand new one, broken or working. You want to say good morning? Good morning. Good night. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's too early. Good day. Make it good. <laughs> the sun? If you remember in my previous video, I had called out this little piece of jewelry that's kind of like mixed up in the beads. Well, that turned out to be a nice little find, and my mom is actually the one who gets the credit for pulling that out. That remained in the baggie with the Mardi Gras beads all day, which would have been a dollar had anyone asked. And at the end of the day, she decided to sort those out and came across this little cross. Very nice find. Thanks, Mom. This piece right here, this came out of the lock, the pirate game locker uh, locker that we sold out the other jewelry. This piece slipped through the cracks. My mom pulled it out, and uh, we checked it out, 14K. 
with some little itty bitty diamonds there. So we got another 60 bucks on that. All right, on our way to Brentwood to see Jana's parents and uh, made a quick stop on the way to deliver that maple table. I usually do not do furniture delivery, but we all say hi. Hi. But uh, it was right on the way and these people said they needed it. They've been living in this place for a month without any kitchen table oh, and uh, now they need that to work for them. So boom, the other half the money they Venmoed me. The first half is deposit. Got 140 bucks. I was only asking 120. They offered. Uh, go left here. It goes to your pirate games total, I think, right? Yes. Yes. Right. And now for some local sales. All right, if you remember those TV trays, I couldn't let them go at the dollar sale. I took them home mainly because I was already getting some action online, and I did sell them for 10 bucks. Then I've got those mid-century beds, bed frames. And those went for 175 That's what I asked, and that's what I got. And then also, I came across these little brass figurines, and that was in the box that my GoPro took a poop on me. Well, I listed those on, on the uh, Facebook, and you know, brass is just hot right now. So I got someone to buy those for me for 18 bucks. Porch pickup. Finally sold the mid-century modern dressers. Those were getting me a little bit nervous. Sold them yesterday, actually. They sat on Facebook for a long time, got a lot of interest, and quite a few people flaked on me who said they wanted it. But um, I boost. I decided to boost it for six bucks on Facebook. Boom! Sold them same day. Uh, I guess that boost works. People came, got them. They were very pleased. They were very excited. And they were a very nice couple. I was happy to see him go, but even happier to see 425 bucks in my pocket. Here goes the dressers. 425 bucks. All right, finally, the last piece of the Pirate Games is sold. And this is the proud new owner right here, George. Yay! One dollar. One dollar. Thank you, dinner. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We had a dollar two in the tally. This, it might be the dollar that pushed me over into a win over Alex. Yeah, yeah, go Buckernuts! <laughs> yeah! Alright, I like that number. See that right there? 1981 in sales. Whew. It was a lot of hard work to get there, but I am pleased with the outcome. 1981, what a great year. I mean, you want to talk about numbers. Mike likes his numbers. What a great year. 1981, the year that the Raiders of the Lost Ark came out. One of the best movies ever. Maybe the best movie ever made. Yes, that's bold. I'm going to say it. Hello, Bella. Also, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Something else going for it. Raider, Raiders. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the summary so you can see, because it's not all sales, right? We have expenses too, so let's go through. Here we go. All right, I covered the cost of the locker, auction fee, and tax in that first episode when I showed you the receipts. For gas and flea market booth costs, I only charged half because I felt like I only took half a load. Let's be fair here. Uh, the other half of my load is from other lockers. I didn't buy very much. But I also had in there the cost of the Facebook boost, which I had to pay 6 bucks to try to move those mid-century dressers. And I think it worked because they did sell. 316 bucks in cost. Let's take that off the total of 1981 in sales. We've got $1,665 in profit. And if you're interested, that's 527% ROI, return on investment. All right, that's what we got. And if you noticed my attire here, and it looks kind of familiar, yes, that's the same attire I was using in that last clip from the flea market because I went straight from the flea market, rushed home to get you these numbers because I made my last sale earlier today to George. So fresh off the presses, here we are. This is the final numbers. Well, no, actually it's not, is it? Because we have two things left to sell. One is, mm -mm -mm, kiss that ring. Got that still. Um, I would prefer not to sell that, but I will if I have to. And then the other thing is that Easy e autograph uh, photograph. That's pretty cool. And I've been told that it might have some value, but I don't really know. Um, but I might have to have it checked out, but I know Alex wants to buy it. So let's just say that if I got this in the bag, those two items don't matter. But if they do come into play, I might have to put those last two chips on the table. 
but we'll have a summary of the three of us and we'll see how everything comes out and who the big winner is so thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the pirate games i sure enjoy playing with those guys and by the way at the end here i keep saying hey i hope i beat alex i hope i beat alex well of course i'm not ignoring mike he's in the running too it's just that he shared his number with us and uh his locker maybe wasn't as exciting as we all wanted it to be but that's the way this business works so um next time Look out, because I know Mike's going to come back with the vengeance, and we can't wait to see what he does. But uh, great time. We had a great time doing this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming. Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you here next time on Locker Nuts. And maybe for the next series of The Pirate Games. Thanks for watching.